Welcome back to the channel. Here today, I'm going to take you through what I'm planning on doing for my studio. So um, right now, I'm planning on building a studio, a mixing studio in specifics, and I'm on a low budget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on creating a bunch of stuff that I need and or acquiring equipment and such. So first things first, um, my current setup is not great, so I need some monitor stands. So what I'm planning on doing is right here, I'm planning, I'm basing, I'm basing my design off of these monitor stands um, so that I have a nice big platform, um, a nice place to put my speaker and they're adjustable. So here's what I have so far. This is, this is generation one, this one right here. Um, some things about this one that I have decided to nick is the single, the single level, um, because it isn't, it won't be as stable. Uh, uh, the, the single, the single lower support I've decided to nick, change that over to a double, as you can see here on the second one. And then it also centers it more. Um, and I have increased the platform size a little bit between the two. Um, so now I'm going to actually be building a third one. And so I will take you through that process. It's going to be very similar to, to this, this second design here. Um, except for these, all of these legs are going to be two foot long instead of three foot long because the three foot long I've realized are, are way too tall. Like who needs a six foot tall speaker as the base? Nobody. I need, I need four feet tall. I don't know what I was thinking when I was first designing it, but even these, they only go to 42 inches. So I'm fixing that, making it, the correct adjustable height and all that. Um, and so we'll go ahead and get on to designing that. Okay, so here we have the completed V3 design. Um, the main difference between the V3 and the the V2 is the height, um, because I realized that the V3, uh, the V, the it did not need to be that tall. Um, I also changed the amount of adjustability on the bottom struts because it doesn't need to be as much. Um, it just needs the adjustability in the extension arm. So that's what I've decided. Um, also with changing these to two foot instead of three foot, these can now be made, one of these can be made with one two by four by eight, making it nice and convenient for um, building. So going over and looking in my shop, I actually have some wood. So what I'm doing here is I am cutting up the wood, um, getting it to the right size so that I can make a mock-up of the monitor stand to see if this is really what I want. So I'm going to be drilling the holes, I'm going to be cutting the wood, and then I'm going to be assembling it and getting it approximately how it is based off my model. Um, I'm not cutting and measure, uh, measuring everything exactly at the moment because it's just a mock-up and I don't need to because some of the wood um, is for a different project of 
that's not mine. Um, so I was just using it as a placeholder until I get the wood I need, and then I will go through and fully make all five of the stands that I need. Look at that, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, greatly appreciated. Over on the left hand side, we got some other videos, some older videos. Take a look at them if you're inclined. But as always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it.